I use paintbrushes all the time. Okay, maybe not this one. But I have so many of them because I buy them cheap at estate sales. It seems though, no matter how much I clean them, either with water or paint thinner, I'll come back later and they'll be rock hard or very stiff. So what do I do? I wait till I've got like four or five or six of them and then I'll use this premium paint and epoxy remover. It works pretty well, but it's a fairly harsh chemical. Did you ever read the warning labels on the back of these cans? There's more fine print here than in my credit card agreement. It says here that this stuff can explode or cause psychological damage. That explains a lot. I've always wished there was a better way to clean the brushes. Then I got an email from a guy named Paul asking me to test his brush cleaner. Supposedly this stuff cleans wet or dry paints, brushes with oil or acrylic. It restores the wood and the metal on the brushes. It's completely non-toxic, 100% natural. It smells like you can drink it, but don't. It cleans faster, safer, easier than anything you've ever used. Yet, leaves things smelling clean and fresh, kind to your hand, safe for everything you clean. I've gotta be honest, my first reaction to this was, what? <laughs> Come on, I have my doubts, but I'm about to try it now for the first time. Here's how this paintbrush cleaner by Greenpeace describes itself. Amazing, powerful cleaner, 100% natural, safe for your hands, zero paint thinner, zero turpentine, completely non-toxic, smells like oranges, cures cancer. <laughs> okay, not that one. My first test is on 10 random brushes that I found around my shop. They range from mildly stiff to very stiff. I try to get the product to soak in. I'll dip it, pour it, and then work it in with my hands. This product also claims to clean the paint off of the metal ferrule and the wood. This dried paint has been on here for years and the product is not removing any of the old dried paint on the metal or the handle. The quickest way that I found to remove the paint from the metal or the brush handle is on a buffing wheel with fine bristles. I just finished using this product on 10 brushes. I don't really know what was on the brushes. It could have been polyurethane, could have been stain, could have been deck stain, it could have been paint. I'm not really sure. All I know is that the brushes were not usable. The results, these four here, it actually made them usable. I won't say that they're perfect or like new, but it made them usable again. These two brushes here were wet. I let them dry for about five minutes and then I cleaned them. One was oil-based, one was water-based, and I cleaned them both. Good job. This was a brush that I had sitting around for a long time. It was unusable. Only took a couple minutes with this product. Now it's usable again. Again, it doesn't make it perfect, but way better. This one here, it's really hard in the middle. It does not remove that hardness, but the ends are usable again. These two brushes were a bit of a problem. This one here, it looks like it was used on some oil-based black paint. It didn't clean it very well at all. The bristles are still stuck together and it's extremely hard in the middle. So it had very little effect on this one. Same with this. I don't know what it was used for, but it was extremely hard in the middle and it was unusable. I couldn't get this one clean until I used the harsher chemical. Have an idea what you wanted for it? It's gonna be six figures. This one here costs about 20 bucks for 18 ounces. This one here, $30 for 32 ounces. So by volume, this one is a little more expensive. My next big test is on two products that I use all the time, polyurethane and shellac. I'm going to test freshly used brushes as well as hardened day old brushes. First up, fresh polyurethane. The cleaner does a great job on cleaning the brush. Shellac is what I'm most interested in. Normally I use denatured alcohol or some combination of ammonia and water. So this is going to be interesting. Wow, it cleaned the shellac perfectly. Very impressive. For this one reason alone, I'm going to keep this cleaner stocked on my shelves. I then tested the paint cleaner on this day old hardened polyurethane brush. Not so good. While it did work great on the wet poly, it only mildly affected the hardened polyurethane. It does seem to soften the polyurethane, but the polyurethane residue remains on the bristles. The day old shellac, however, cleaned up perfectly. This is white oil based Rust Oleum. The Greenpeace products soften the paint, but it didn't clean or remove any of it. As for the yellow oil-based spray paint, did pretty much the same as the white. A little more flexible are the bristles, but not what I'd call clean. The last dried paint I tested was acrylic black. 
Now this is a water-based paint. It did clean the brush completely. However, so did regular water. Here's my conclusions in a nutshell about the Greenpeace paintbrush cleaner. Overall, I am impressed that a natural product works this well. It worked well on all of the wet products I tested, including acrylic water-based paints, oil-based paints, polyurethane, oil-based wood stain, and shellac. Now on the dry brushes, it cleaned water-based acrylic and shellac. It didn't do a great job on any of the oil-based products, including polyurethane. It did improve them slightly, but it didn't clean them. Now, your results and techniques may vary. I do think that the Paintbrush Cleaner by Greenpeace deserves a space on your shelf, mainly because it does a really good job on all of the wet oil-based products I tested and the dried shellac. If you've tried this stuff, let me know your experience in the video comments. Also, I put a link to this product in the video description if you want to check it out. I'm Tom, this is Allie Picked, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.